On this channel, we have seen a series of crosses so productive that they are capable of creating hybrid lines with feed conversion and egg production that it was impossible to imagine existed, from the Black Star to the Charber Black, and the Isabas. Although many are not sexable, they are equally productive and would be worth producing at home to enjoy the benefits of the excellent tasting and large eggs. It is the turn of the Nick Brown Hybrid Hen. I have been eager to talk about this highly productive hen, which very few of us know about, but boy has it been important in the brown egg production industry. This super hybrid is the product of crossing none other than the Raw Island Red. Once again, the Raw Island Red breed comes out to show its important historical commitment since its creation, which has been one of the pioneering breeds in terms of egg production and the creation of many egg-laying hybrids that exist today. For that reason, this is and will continue to be one of my three favorite breeds, along with the play Mount Rabar Rada and the Lego, the three magical treasures of the poultry world. In this case, we are going to cross the Raw Island Wren Rooster with a hen that is as productive as it is elegant. I am referring to a beautiful Susk hen, resulting in the cross between these beautiful high-laying hybrid hens, such as the Brown. And of course, they are also sexable. It couldn't be better. I have revealed secrets that have remained silent for many years by the large poultry egg production industries. And today I have brought you all the details on how to perform this cross. It is necessary to talk about the most important characteristics of each of the breeds used to understand the wonderful qualities that this laying hen has. And obviously, you must understand the genetic processes that must be carried out to carry out or materialize this expression of hybrid vigor and egg production. And if this is your first time watching the channel, I invite you to watch all the videos of productive crosses to create high laying lines. Link in the video description. Let's quickly learn about the most outstanding qualities of the Susk breed and their importance in crossbreeding to obtain sexable chicks for hatching. Nick Brown. Let's start by talking about the onset of laying. SC hens usually begin laying eggs between 5 and 6 months of age, producing between 200 and 260 eggs per year in the first year of laying. They are docile, curious, and tame birds. They adapt well to confinement, but they also enjoy open spaces and free range, which would be the most ideal option, since they are large and robust birds. Roosters usually weigh between 3.5 and 4 kilograms and hens between 2.8 and 3.5 kilograms. They are considered a dual-purpose breed due to their good meat production and large eggs. This breed has a moderate brooding instinct. Some females can incubate their eggs, but they are not as persistent as more traditional breeds or creole hens. I want to emphasize this part, as I consider it important to clarify the following. The work of large industries, especially the one that created this high egg production line, which is HIN International, was dedicated for many decades to eliminating the incubation instinct in the breeds that were used for these breeds, such as the Susik and the Raw Island Rex, through genetic selection. This practice consists of selecting the hens with low incubation that are less interested in incubating the eggs to hatch offspring and then crossing the offspring again, either with a different blood group and under the same conditions. This practice consists of selecting the hens of both breeds that are less interested in incubating the eggs, in order to hatch offspring, and crossing the offspring again, either with a different blood group and under the same conditions, or with a consanguineous cross, or a cross, 
as it is called, either with the mother and son or father and daughter, which is a very common cross in the poultry world, to establish certain specific traits. And this process is repeated many times until a group of birds of each breed is obtained whose incubation instinct is zero or very low. What is the point of carrying out such a rigorous process? This process is carried out by large industries with the purpose of extracting the best qualities in terms of egg production in the hybrid lines that are created with these selective crosses. The color of the eggs of this breed is creamy brown with a weight between 55 and 65 grams. Especially the Susmilla is key in the production of sexable hybrid hens, when crossing them with a raw island re-rooster to obtain the snick brown, or also as the high-laying charber black hybrids, in which the Susmilla rooster is used, but in this case with a Bard Play Monroe hen to produce sexable chicks at birth. I leave you this video about this cross to produce Charber Black also in the video description. This specific ability of Russic, genetic structure, possesses genes that can combine to make them sexable by color, just like Raw Island Re. And by combining both benefits, the miracle of the poultry world happens. That is, this cross to produce Nick Brown laying hens takes advantage of the sex-linked genes in both parent breeds. For example, the dominant gene Rock Island Re, which is characterized by being brown or dark mahogany in color. And the black and white hen that will be used in the cross has a recessive gene for light coloration. The daughters of this cross will generate the gene for the color of the father with brown feathers, but will be altered with a recessive gene for the black and white, which gives a lighter tone to the females when they reach sexual or reproductive maturity. On the other hand, males inherit the recessive gene from their mother, light feathers or distinctive spots, very similar to the hybrid hen and sobrato, in which the females come out with a light brown color and the males are white, since in this case a raw island re-rooster and a raw island white hen are used. This R Island white hen has in common with the summer mulata nothing more and nothing less than the plumage color, which is white, and has a specific genetic structure, or the cross between a raw island re rooster and a white playman raw hen, which is used to produce sexable hens. The hand in which the pullets of this cross come out red due to the genes generated by the raw island red, and the male chickens come out white due to the recessive genes of the mother which is the white pleon rock. In all these crosses where raw island red has been used with white breed hens, the offspring are born sexable due to genetics, but not all breeds or varieties of white hens will give you these sexable results. Finally, I can tell you that the Susk hen is a perfect breed, since it has good egg production, body weight and a calm temperament. Now let's quickly talk about some of the most outstanding characteristics of the Raw Island Re breed, which if it is the first time you hear about this breed, it is good that you take into account the productive capacities. They lay between 200 and 250 eggs per year. The eggs are dark brown and weigh approximately 60 grams on average. Laying begins between 22 and 24 weeks. It has an intense mahogany red plumage with shiny highlights and black feathers on the tail and undertail, being darker in males. Hens weigh between 2.7 and 3.6 kilograms and roosters between 3.5 and 4 kilograms and have a docile and sociable temperament. Now let's learn all about the Nick Brown hybrid line. The Klee Brown is a commercial hybrid developed to maximize egg production. It was created in 1965 by the German corporation Hin International after a decade of genetic research to combine high productivity, disease resistance and adaptability to different climates. Its development focused on selective crosses that integrated genes from the breeds we mentioned earlier. I am referring to the R Island Re and the Suck, 
taking advantage of their advantageous characteristics that we mentioned to obtain daughters with good production of large brown eggs. Main Characteristics of the Nick Brown It produces about 300 eggs per year, one of the highest rates in commercial poultry, equal to the production levels of the Black Star and the Charber Black, which are sexable hybrids. Although commercial lines such as Lysabra are extraordinarily productive with over 300 eggs laid per year. However, the productive capacities of the Nick Brown, although modest, are appreciated by large egg production industries. They begin laying between 20 and 22 weeks with eggs that can easily weigh 60 to 70 grams. These have a dark brown shell and are resistant. In terms of weight and meat of this hybrid, hens weigh between 2 to 2.3 kilograms and roosters between 3.5 to 4 kilograms. Although its focus is egg production, its meat is considered to be of acceptable quality by secondary markets, very similar in terms of the exquisite texture of the suck breed. The temperament is docile and calm, ideal for intensive or semi-free range systems. Roosters rarely show aggression. The incubation instinct is practically non-existent in the high laying line, although if you have not selected the breeders correctly, whether it is your sec or our island red, whose incubation instinct is low, then it is very likely that you will get a snack brown line with a moderate incubation instinct. This implies that you will not have egg production at its best. Now let's look at the physical qualities of both the rooster and the hen. I should mention that my interest in this line began many years ago when I saw this image. It is clear that it is a very old image and the touch of realism and naturalness is very scarce, giving the impression that it is a drawing. I always had doubts about the physical appearance of this high laying line. Today I can attest to these physical qualities, both of the rooster and the hens. The hens resulting from this cross have a predominantly reddish-brown plumage, lighter than the R Island red, similar to an izab, with black line-shaped feathers on the neck, similar to the ermine of the susk and with black feathers also on the tail. The roosters are very similar to a subset as adults at first glance, but with some differences. Let's see what they are. Although the rooster is stocky and very similar to the male Susek rooster, it can be differentiated, since the ermine on the neck is not the typical black with white that we are used to seeing. On the contrary, the ermine is a contrast between blacks with a light yellow color. This is due to the genetic combination between the red of the raw island re and the ermine of the susk. The rest of the rooster's body is predominantly white, but it is a dirty white with a reddish coloration in the wing area, as seen in the images. The tail is black and generally the color of the legs tends to be white as does the sack. On the other hand, the color of the hen's legs tend to be more yellow due to the influence of the raw island R's leg color. Although the image shown on the internet shows a rooster with a very pronounced crest, the truth is that both the crest and the wattles of the rooster and the hen are very similar to those of the Sioux Seiko breed. On the other hand, the beak is short and strong, yellow or white in color and slightly curved at the tip. Before finishing this video, I would like to especially thank my friend Jesus Rojas from the Aveswagui Breeder for his support with the audiovisual material. For any questions about his breeder and the product catalog he has for sale, I will leave the contact information in the video description. For your success, my friend breeder, until next time.